Will Huntsman get a kill on Nate? We can only hope so, but Hunts... Oh my god! Pathia, what are you doing? I, I guess I could open this now. I'll be careful because we don't really have enough to man the whole thing. I could just, like, block it and just man a couple of them. Um, I should probably work on getting two more melee pawns, too. We also need to do some more strip mining, see if we can find some more components. We got some, like, way out here that we can go get to, like this one. Which could be worth it. I guess we will next time Cassandra's on cooldown. But in the meantime, we'll do some, some strip mining, I guess. Okay, get to work. Uh, we'll get this done. I'll probably go ahead and get a deep drill with the next components too, just so we have it for the future. It's almost conversion time. Does the quality of the weapon affect DPS and value? It does, but you get the big bonus to damage at masterwork. So quality of weapon, absolutely. And so does, oh, are you talking about the hit points, the percentage or actual quality? Percentage doesn't matter on uh, on damage. Am I going back to the facial hair? I just leave my hair as whatever my wife likes or wants because I just don't care. Like honestly, uh, if, if it wasn't for my wife, this is what I used to do. I would just have everything just gone all the time or not do anything to anything. Just whatever's easiest at the time. I used to just like, Every couple of days, just buzz my entire head, you know, and just, just be done with it. So I really don't care what my hair is like. So whatever mod wife likes or wants, I'll leave it as. I don't care otherwise. It's the best answer you've ever heard as far as facial hair goes. Yeah. So people tell me sometimes like, man, you should grow a beard. And my, and my wife does not like beards. She does not want me to have a beard. So my, if I actually try to grow like a full beard, mine's more like Keanu than it is, you know, some kind of Viking or something. All right, Cassandra, you got to be off cooldown now, right? Oh, yeah, she's off. A little bit less wealth than the last raid, so... I think I'm actually going to go ahead and put everyone on the walls. Because she's Praise definitely going to be here sun. soon. Growth moment for Goat! Goat 7! Let's take Iron Willed. Construction and crafting. He might grow up to be a production specialist. Hopefully. A dwarf's dwarf, that's right. Oh, here we go. Preparing for a while. Crap, they're wasters. What are they shooting? Hmm. Man, this is gonna suck. Luckily, those ones kind of used all theirs, but I'm gonna have to get some, like, gas masks or something. I'm gonna... You know what? I should probably try to get one of these and take that toxic lung this might be pretty annoying what are them we don't have we have like four shells at the moment what this guy's just taking a nap moderate toxic build up that fast yeah that wasn't their own rain raid members that was those were visitors on the map uh we might have some people get cancer here there's no low shields right i sure hope not I have low shields. It's gonna be rough. Uh, let's go ahead and use our combat command too. I'm gonna have to get our uh, minigun thing set up. Uh, loser's gonna cause some real problems. Look at that. We mainly still have children. Oh, we got him. <laughs> All right, one of them got off. First group is fleeing. Man, that sucks. Not all of them. It's all of them. Okay, get out of there. Do not go down there. So as long as the next raid isn't another one of those, I think we we killed them fast enough that it's not going to matter. So toxic build up initial ten percent initial minor minor. Anyone past minor? Okay, just minor. 
So we might want to try to get that gene for the front liners. Okay, the gas is gone. Uh, which kid ended up getting bloodlust? Interesting one. Tough bloodlust. It was rain. Okay. Back to walls. <clears throat> Waster prisoner once and was feeling lazy, so he decided to didn't bother stripping him. Leaves the tox packs on. Jailbreak. He farted clouds all over people. Ouch. Yeah, if we get the installable lungs, we'll do that too. Yeah. We can't actually harvest them, so we'd have to go out and try to trade, but if we see them, we'll grab them. What are the market value on those? Like 1100 or something? What is Bloodlust good for? Bloodlust gets a mood buff for killing. They can also wear tainted armor. Crap. Oh, they were too fast. I was going to strip the one that had uh, marine gear and put it on our tainted armor person. Uh, on our bloodlust person. Whoops. Too slow, too slow. That's right, child. Burn those corpses. Hash monkey is already converted. Rain is converted. Nice. Buzz is the next one. Rom, convert that child. Whoa, 94 to 15 percent. Wow. This Hamlet Kids will believe anything. We just come up to Muzz. We told him about our religion. We uh, told him about Santa Claus, etc. Immediately, he's on board. Almost immediately. <laughs> uh, hit what in? Think of the raid. <laughs> Getting a raid, res. I'm talking about how stupid kids are and how they're easy to, easy to brainwash. But it's true. Uh, major rake on Pfeiffer. Gut worms. It's happening again. All right. I guess I won't have the children go off deep in the mines. It's happening again. I don't know what's up with uh, Cassandra's bullcrap. Very, uh, let's call it interesting. Gut worms takes 300% tending until they go away. So they are not a time base. They're not one that can kill, but 300% tending. Are they not the miners of the intestines? Ugh. The Vandalier seems pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll use it on some more standard runs, uh, especially on ones where I'm just using it to outrange. You know what? I might use it on this one for, we're doing only heavy weapons. So I'm going to have to see how the bandolier interacts with uh, the minigun. Healthy vat birth. I think I'm going to make some more fat dwarfs, honestly. Another healthy one. I thought I said fart dwarf. It's vatter dwarf, apparently. I had an R in there. Don't tell anyone. That won't bother anyone, for sure. What does it cost to make a baby? Well, when a man dwarf and a... Womandorf love each other very much. No, um, you mean in the vats? Yeah, food, nutrition. The Mandorf plants his special seed. No, I'm stop. I'm gonna stop right there. Ask your mother. Uh, but yeah, in the vats, just nutrition, just nutrition. I wish I could raise our baby dwarves in a vat of beer, but it's sadly not, not able to be done. Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Sugar and spice and everything nice. And Chemical X. Chemical X. Suddenly, theme song's coming into my head. It's Powerpuff Girl time. Pfeiffer is about to be beaten to death by Silver Skeeter. Holy crap, these Dorbin children. So our, our doors have 150% melee damage. And boy, they're showing it. Children, man. These Dorbin children. Okay, I need to make some decisions here. So we're going to have this as a dining and rec kind of hallway. We're going to have a second corridor of beds here, some here. Um, and eventually, maybe some over here. We're going to probably end up putting the hospital here. So it's near where we're going to get damaged. Uh, so I can put the research there later. And I'll probably do a hydroponic behind there. So hydroponic here, doctor set up there. Um, we'll have that doubled up as, as bedrooms. We'll have to see where breachers are coming through with this setup and go from there too. As soon as you walk, you can get a shotgun, a beer, and a ration of mushrooms. That's right. <laughs> That's all you need in life. I need to convert Lilith. I think we can just go ahead and do it. All right, we're going to go ahead and do this. So Lilith, we're going to... Take their shotgun, their fire foam, their flak vest. Okay. 
Turn that into for prisoners. Have Rom arrest them. There you go. Prisoner, we're going to have them on convert. There we go. Convert them. Black pants. Well, I don't want them to get super cold, so I'll just leave those pants on. But pretty time. What do they want? They're begging for 58 beers. Guys, we'll die without beer. Don't you understand? I'm actually tempted to give it to them because you can get things later on from it. We have a lot of extra beer. But also, these guys can open doors and cause problems. We get a raid and these guys open doors. We actually had that happen in the last run. So, maybe I'll do it. Beer crosses the line. <laughs> we have hundreds. I think I'm just going to do this. So, get them out of here. They're not even begging for money. They're just honest with it. We're poor beggars. Can you spare, I don't know, 58 beers? 58 beers? Do you do you, do you want some spare change? No, sir. If you give me spare change, I'm just going to buy beer with it anyway. I'm just, let's just cut to the chase. 58 beers? Be honest with you, sir. My, wi my life kind of sucks. I just want to get just blackout drunk. All right. What about the eight-year-old child? He wants to get blackout drunk also. <laughs> well, you came to the right place. You feel attacked. <laughs> no. They definitely showed up the right place. Three trips. So much beer that's taking three trips. Four trips. The shame of Pat. Pat is calling from nearby. Begging to join. There's something that's a three-star threat following him. Uh, absolutely friggin' not, Pat. Those can actually be insects. That could be a triple strength insect hive. So we can handle infestations, but not a triple one at the moment. Shame, Pat. Sh and he's also not a dwarf. Pat, if you would have been born a dwarf, we might have let you in. But you weren't, so. Some of these mushrooms are about to go bad, so I'm gonna do something I usually don't do. We're just gonna use some of this up. I gotta remember to change it afterwards, though. Uh, we're gonna do vegetarian fine meal. So we have X. I gotta be careful with this, so. We don't wanna run ourselves out, because we, we will, even though we have a lot of mushrooms at the moment. Believe it or not, we'll run ourselves out real quick. Real quick. And I really need components. Is Cassandra not gonna hit us with a second raid? It looks like she's probably not. Why not leave some of the doors open? Insects. I want the doors actually closed for this one. Like, if insects spawn, I want to choose where I'm going to tank them at and melee block them without having to worry about them spilling through other doors. So, like, if I have this door held open, for instance, and we have a hive spawn in here, and I want to bring people over here to melee block the, the bugs, well, I don't get that option, really, because the bugs are going to spill through here and start destroying stuff and loop around this way. So I'm being very careful on what I have held open. You might notice that a lot of times I'll find these and I'll also go ahead and select them to be, be hauled. So yeah, it's, it's just a matter of, um, of infestation. Fighting infestations. We're not well capped now. No, nowhere near. Nowhere near. Uh, yeah, we're not even, we're not even halfway to wealth cap. We're about a third of the way to wealth cap. Don't block door mod. Yeah, I used to use that. It's good. It's good for that. What's the wealth cap? The wealth cap is 10... Uh, wealth... Well, it depends. If you mean raid cap or wealth cap. So there's two things. The wealth cap is a million. So the game stops processing wealth for raid points at 1 million. No matter what difficulty you play on, after a million wealth, you do not get any more raid points. Now, the raid points cap at 10,000. Baseline 10,000 raid points. And on 100% difficulty that coincides with a million wealth on losing is fun 500 percent you usually get to raid cap around 260 280,000 wealth because not all wealth is created equal pawns add raid points raw raid points and wealth so it kind of double dips in a way combat pets do that but the ra the raid point cap is 10,000 but you have to be on 100 percent difficulty or more to ever reach 10,000 and the wealth cap, where it start, stops generating more raid points for all the, the earlier difficulties under 100% is a million wealth. So those are the two break points as far as raid points and wealth, raw wealth. What counts as combat animals? Basically, an, any animal that you can zone. Wake up, Lilith. There is a way to wake her up, but it's dangerous. 
Hey, Torg, do you want to go wake her up? How do I remember all this? It's my job. Like a spreadsheet in my brain. It's literally my job. It's like if you go to a cashier and they know how much bananas are by the pound, it's because they ring up bananas by the pound a thousand times a month. So I'm asked about... Wow, it wasn't close enough to wake her up. I'm asked about it all the time, so I remember. Why is the four-year-old carrying a beer? He's a dwarf, man. Your How do I know or decide when I'm ready to launch the ship? Appreciated. Usually, I do those th kind of things just when I'm done with the run. Like, when I've done everything that I wanted to do and I want to get on to the next run, I will just start going into the ship launch preparation stage of the game. So, for me, it's a very specific, all right, I'm, I'm just done with this run sort of thing. Um, if you're doing it in your playthrough, then basically whenever you feel like you could deal with up to 25 raids within a season. So if you're at the point where you can deal with up to 25 raids in a single RimWorld season, a single quadrum, then you are ready for the ship launch or the royalty ending. And you can prepare and do it anytime you want. That's the that's the quick of it, I guess. So when I ask you about research speed, yeah, so any of those questions that you have, there's a couple of different things that you can do. One is the information pane on the pawn is really good. So you can always come here and you can be like, all right, what impacts a pawn's research speed? Well, their ideology can increase it. Um, uh, obviously like tribal, et cetera. Uh, but then global work speed can impact it. Intellect, manipulation and sight, but those ones are capped. So for instance, manipulation will only help up to 110%. Manipulation past 110% doesn't give you extra research speed. You can also click on a research bench and see what impacts the research bench itself, which can add to this. So a research bench gets a bonus in a clean room. So you can actually get like a research bench in a sterile room and you'll get an extra, um, you'll get extra research speed from it. It's not a lot, but I think like um, it, it, if you combine your research room with your hospital, you're already making the hospital generally sterile tile or at the very least poor man sterile tile, which is steel tile. Steel tile is 0.2 cleanliness, whereas like um, sterile is 0.6. Even the steel tile will increase it by like a percent or two, maybe three, I don't remember, but yeah, you can always click those. The information panes have a lot in there. And now that there's a search feature uh, just in the default RimWorld game, it makes it pretty easy to go in there and be like, all right, what am I what am I curious about? And hover over it. And the tooltips are pretty good with telling you what impacts it and if it has a cap. No one's mentioned the door that I put off center on purpose. Should have pointed it out. Pretend again like I don't know it exists. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Don't look at it. Doors? As long as the door opens and shuts, it can't be wrong. People are still throwing up from gut worms. Five for what's wrong, child? Well, you're the wrong religion. You would be happy if you were our religion, don't you know? Define wrong religion, non-dwarf. Our dwarves are extremely bigoted, so the only correct one is to abide by the ancestor gods. Avenge the grudges in the Book of Grudges. Defend Grugni and Valeia. What about Grimnir? Ah, Grimnir. Take him or leave him. That's going in the book. 78%. Let's go. Lilith, if you want out of prison, you will change your religion. That's all you gotta do. Renounce everything you've ever known, everything you've ever held dear, what your parents taught you, convert to our cult ideas, and you can be let out of prison. Well, not yet. Our cool ideas. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Lilith. Lilith, why would you turn that direction, Lilith? Lilith is standing there. Gets sick to their stomach. Where should I throw up? Should I throw up the direction I'm facing where there's nothing? Or should I turn around and throw up on nine meals? Uh, let me think about that. Throw up on the nine meals, of course. Uh, I, got, I gotta go out and get these. If we want to progress, I gotta go mine these. I really, really don't want to go out there, but... We gotta get to fabrication. Where's our best miner? Rhino. All right, let's do it. I know it's nighttime, Rhino. Are you in need of food? No, you're good. Let's go. All right, Rhino, let's go. Why am I so afraid of the outside world? The very last time I sent someone out here, they got hunted by a predator immediately. I could send a Rhino, I suppose. Because Cassandra's on cooldown. All right, Rhino. Don't get hunted while you're out there. Oh my god, he's getting he's getting hunted. 
Also, raids can spawn. Like, a drop pod raid can spawn between him and the base, and then he's just dead. Insulting spree on the little kid. Torgman. Take him down. Torgman, what's wrong with you? Are you not a true dwarf? You are, but you're only like three years old. There you go. <laughs> a three-year-old and like a seven-year-old pointing chain shotguns at each other with one arm and punching with the other. Gaining me melee experience. Excellent. Oh my god. He's missing an arm and leg. Torque. Oh, that was probably from that grenade earlier. It was, yeah. Lay down, kid. Got him. Never even close. Brotato update looking good. <laughs> I'm afraid to look at it. Torgman struck five from the torso. Slammed in the left shoulder horribly. Compared Pfeiffer to an Ibis. Look at all this. Uh... Man, kids these days. Exotic goods. I really need a uh, Bolt Goods Outlander. Raid. Kind of hope it's Tribal Breacher. It's a breach. It's a Tribal Breacher. This is scripted, by the way. No, hey, get out of here. I need to see where Breachers come in through. <laughs> come on. Hey, I need to see where breachers are coming in. Well, this kind of sucks. I really wanted to see where these are going to come in at. At least I don't have to deal with it, I guess. Holy crap, they blew that guy's head off. Gogo's coming in from the side. Oh, Beats didn't see him coming around that corner. Gogo takes a shotgun blast to the head, but he keeps going. Choco over next to the rocks. Otis getting some friendly fire from behind. His companions don't care. They light their friend on fire. A little excessive, but... There's no thing as excessive in RimWorlds. The rest of the Breach Raid, they have no idea what's going on. They don't even know their other friends are dead. What is this about, Muzz? Torgman called Muzz's nephew a boom rat? <laughs> it's a kid! It's a four-year-old kid, Muzz! Man, imagine that. Four-year-old kid comes up to him. Your nephew looks like a... Like a boom rat. And just immediately punch this four-year-old child. <laughs> just go to go to fisticuffs. That's what they call it. Fisticuffs. This is a very sophisticated... You have to be very sophisticated to use the word fisticuffs. Okay, boom rat. <laughs> hey, Lilith is converted. She was previously a colonist, so we can just release her. That's another thing that people don't realize. If you arrest someone that was a colonist, you don't have to re-recruit them. You just release them. As long as they are a member of your faction, they'll just rejoin it instantly. Oh, there's Huntsman. That is Smurf's most hated adversary. You post about Huntsman all the time. Will Huntsman get a kill on Nate? We can only hope so, but Hunts... Oh my God. Pathia, what are you doing? Pathia. Pathia must hate Nate. There's no way. Look at this. She's going to destroy his... He's... She's making sure Nate does not get up. What have you done? He blew his friggin' leg off. <laughs> Pathia, holy crap, going just ham with those. She runs into melee range, one tile outside the range of herself getting hit, and then rolls the grenade over next to her friend. Pathia, absolutely insane. What the crap? Leg blown off by grenade. No immediate danger. The wound is cauterized. Our modest <laughs> fellowship expands. <laughs> Raccoon has had enough of this. He's a Neanderthal as well. She. She's a Neanderthal. Raccoon's coming back to try to warn them, to try to tell them about the boomsticks. But Raccoon can barely speak because they're a Neanderthal. Bro, 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 boom, boomstick. Ma, ow, ow. And the other ones are, are not Neanderthals. They're like, what the crap are you talking about, Raccoon? So Raccoon just gives up, rejoins him, bleeding out. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could rescue. We'll get down there in time. Some free rep. It's a lot of kids, it is. Who is that? Taper comes up, didn't believe Raccoon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Rom, on second thought, let's, uh, let's chill out and see how this plays out. I think Nate's gonna die. <laughs> 
Here we go. Do the traders take out the rest of the breachers? I want to watch Pathia. Where, there she is. Psychopathia. Pathia is short for psycho. Look at it. She's doing it again. Oh, look at that. She bobs. She weaves. She dodges friendly fire. Oh, Pathia. You got to run. Pathia, no. Neanderthals are sick of your crap, Pathia. I like that. Pathia dies. But Nate lives. We got to rescue Nate. Rescue Nate. Rescue Nelson. Pathia got karma Oh, she had her arm and her leg cut off. And dirt thrown in her eyes. That's rough. That's rough, Pathia. Ow, my eyes! And they cut her arm off. Wow. That, that's brutal. Rest in pieces, Pathia. Rest in pieces. Well, we didn't get to see where tribal breachers go. She was only 14? <laughs> she was only... A teenage grenadier. Teenage grenadier. Well, thanks, Rimworld. No, my arm. And then they threw the dirt in the eyes because she couldn't block the dirt. <laughs> Self Universe has used their channel points to summon the devil. All right, Universe, let's see what the devil has to say about this. It's never too early for theoretical physics. That is something that someone evil would say. No, thank you, Satan. I missed part of the quotes. All right, let's do a do over. It's never too early for theoretical physics and mushrooms. Sorry. <laughs> Finish it. Man, the ellipsis just... Just made the rest of the quote go away. Ellipsis. Might as well just pretend the rest of that sentence doesn't exist. We did it. We bullied him into it. Nice base, thanks. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. All right, who needs converted next? The brainwashing is almost complete. All right, here's another child. I don't want to arrest the children because, oh man, I don't, I want them to get their growth tears, right? So we're going to have to mind. No, 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 never mind. We're going to have to change their mind. We'll just go with it. The old fashioned way. So I cannot put this next to the wall because of insects. I know people are going to be unhappy, but I literally have to keep a three tile wide by the door, by every door, so that I can melee block. Yeah, I'll put the multi-analyzer in the middle. We don't have the gold for it yet, but... Uh, we gotta be... Let's see. We got 16 golds. We're pretty close. We haven't hit any gold yet. Was there a gold meteorite? I don't remember a gold one. I remember a silver one. Lilith, let's get your gun back. See how happy you are now, Lilith, that you believe in what we believe in? Don't you wish you had done that sooner? Okay, Muzz... Converted. Hooray! You're a dwarf!